Well, today we're hopefully pressing in this STI rear wheel bearing. It took me about 10 minutes just to set up what I have here. A uh, whole bunch of different adapters. And very rickety press, so here goes. tell it's getting tighter by the change in pitch. <laughs> There's a nice solid stop in there that should hit. That's in. Used an old Volkswagen wheel bearing as a spacer for uh, pushing on the outer race of the bearing assembly. We can now see the C-clip location, so we're going to go install the C-clip and the seal. So what we've done, this is going on the back of an open class STI uh, rally car. And what we've done is installed some longer hardened studs. Um, so the bearing was all taken apart. It's a new bearing, new seals. And uh, on a Subaru like this, you have to install the bearing assembly, which looks like a normal bearing. It's got this sleeve in here, though, to hold it together. It's actually got two roller bearings and a race that holds it, uh, that they ride in. So instead of like a unit bearing that you might get, like one of these old VW ones, uh, where it comes with seals in it, there's no seals. So they have this inner and outer seal. This one goes in on the axle, this one goes against the hub. So I've got the bearing pressed in. We're going to install the C-clip. And hold together the right snap ring tool for this. I think we're going to try some needle nose first. And if that doesn't work, I've done it with a couple small screwdrivers before. So these usually aren't in very bad shape if it's been the factory seal and bearing in here because the seal keeps all the uh, crap out. Um, so this goes in this little groove in here that when I press the bearing in, uh, you want to make sure it goes in so you can see that the groove is all there so the clip will go right in and then you know your bearings in all the way. So I'm just going to squeeze it a little and hopefully I don't hurt myself if this flies out. That's why I'm actually wearing safety glasses. Make sure the clip goes all the way in, and it just snapped all the way in. <clears throat> so, let's see here, grab the light. So you can see the clip. in there. It's clipped in nice. Bearing's all in. 
Now, before we install the hub with the press, we're going to install the seal, which means finding something that fits it to push it in. So I'm at home right now. I have very limited tools, so basically I'm just kind of looking around for stuff that fits. This seems to actually be pretty close, so I'm just going to use this and something for a hammer that isn't too rough. And we're just going to drive that seal down until it's basically on that clip. So we got the seal in all the way. Probably gonna put a little film of grease on this just so as I get it all over me. And it goes in, there's no issues with tearing or seal folding in on itself. So we're going to go put this in the press again. We're going to press this into the middle. And we need to be careful that we support the back side of the bearing with something on this inner race. Because if you don't support it on this inner race, you'll actually push this back uh, inner bearing right out of the middle and then you're going to have a bad day. Got nice positive engagement now. Spinning it to make sure that it's not binding too much or something's catching because then I would know I've done something terribly wrong. I'm going to have to flip over my tool there too because this has this plastic sleeve in the middle of the bearing that's got to make its way out somehow. So I'm going to, yeah, see it was just starting to hit that plastic thing. And try just that there. With these bearings open to dirt, I don't like having anything dirty in it. I don't think it's a very good design from that standpoint. These seem to work pretty well and last a long time, so. kind of judge where I am as to where I'm on the hub and the space that's coming closer. sleeve that holds the bearing assembly together as it's new comes out. That's why you need a tool like I use this little cup here flipped like that. Otherwise you're going to smush that thing right into that plastic. You're going to think you're bottomed out but you're not. 
the new bearings always feel firm but not grinding and nice and smooth. The last step on this will be to drive in this inner seal. So I'm going to move back over to my other bench for that. So I was finishing up the bearing and then my camera phone ran out of memory. So I was talking to nobody. Uh, well, I got the last seal in. It's a brand new seal. They come all greased up. 